Elsa and Anna are so different, but they have been dreaming about a common room for a long time. Our channel, Lalalu, knows how to please them both. Let's DIY a frozen room and furniture. <laughs> We take a cardboard box without two sides as a base. Nah, this room definitely needs nice wallpaper. Take four sheets of cardboard. We need cold colors. Which one should we go for? Let's start with violet. Attach a double-sided tape to it along the perimeter. Remove the paper layer leaving the sticky tape and attach it to the side of the box. Fasten light blue cardboard to the side wall the same way. Put on blue cardboard diagonally and measure the needed size. Cut off the corner with scissors and attach it. Separate the zones of the sisters using triangular pieces of patterned paper with gold dots. Elsa's corner is blue and Anna's is pink. Hide the joints under thin gold tape. Click! And the walls are done! Attach foam tape to the joining as baseboard. We can't wait to decorate this nice room with furniture. <laughs> Olaf will draw a project for us. We think we can trust his taste. <laughs> Start with beds. We'll need styrofoam and fabric for them. Wrap a rectangular piece in fabric and fasten it with hot glue. Fold up the corners and tightly fasten them at all sides. Now let's get to the headboard. Wrap a smaller piece of styrofoam in fabric and tuck the ends underneath. DIY the other bed the same way. Now measure the height of the bed on a sheet of very thick cardboard so we can make a stable frame. Use a ruler and a regular pencil to mark the detail and cut it out with a utility knife. Glue the pieces for two corner frames. Apply hot glue to the inner part of the frame and attach it to the bed. Add nice wooden stairs as decorations. Yay! We did it! Place the beds into the corners of the room. It turned out very cute! You'll have the sweetest dreams on these beds! Take two LED strings of lights, blue and yellow. Remove the sticky layer and attach it along the triangles to the joints on the main wall. Now the room is filled with cozy and magical vibes. These beds need some fairy tale bed curtains. Wrap a satin ribbon around a piece of wire. Place the piece you got onto tool. Apply dots of hot glue and fasten the tool to the wire. Gather it to make folds. Now we just have to fasten the wire frame to the box. Decorate the tool with pink shimmering rhinestones. By the way, we made the same one for Elsa, except it's blue. Let's make wall shelves for little decorations. Use an empty plastic wrap roll. Cut a ring off it. Time to fasten the shelves to the wall. Put on different things that are precious to our girls. A clock, favorite book, a diary, and a sketch pad. Thanks Olaf for the sketches. Our room keeps on transforming. Let's add cozy details. We start with cushions. Cut the needed length of fabric. Hot glue it at three sides. Turn it inside out and stuff with polyester fiber filling. Glue it shut and the cushion is done. We have an idea on how to use these adorable frames. Decorate them with nail beads. Use blue cardboard for Elsa and purple for Anna. Coat the edges with white glue. Use a brush. Outline the first letters of the girls' names with white acrylic paint. Fasten the frames to the walls using double-sided tape. <laughs> and 
And now we'll show you that a paper garland is very simple to make and it looks nice. Take sheets of different designer cardboard. Draw a template on one and cut out a lot of colorful identical flags. Hot glue them to a white cord one after another. Hang the garlands near the beds. It's better to glue them to the box. Little Elsa loves it. Even Olaf likes it a lot. <laughs> Bedside rugs will also add some coziness. Apply hot glue to the beginning of a cord and wrap a spiral. Fasten the end with hot glue. We DIY'd a rug very easily and quickly. We are sure that a mini wigwam is a secret dream of any kind. Our Elsa and Anna aren't any exception. Make a frame from wooden skewers. Glue four pieces to each other. Wrap a cord around. It'll make our wigwam look cute and hide the joint. Apply glue to the skewers and fasten the fabric. Add a piece over the entrance. Now let's make a big floor pillow and stuff it with polyester fiber filling. Set up the wigwam and add cushions. Elsa, Anna, look what you have now. Yay, <laughs> a wigwam, whoa. I'm playing with it first. No, I am, no, I am. The girls start a pillow fight. Stop fighting, there's enough room for everyone. Let's make a table for the kids' room. Take thick cardboard and mark three pieces to be one and a half inches wide and one narrow strip. Carefully cut everything out. Now fasten three of them together using hot glue. Attach the thin strip to the back so it stands still. But there's a problem. Our princesses have to share the table. Mix an appropriate shade of green. Paint one half to look all bright and summery. And make the other half look like winter. Paint snowflakes on it. Make stencils on double-sided tape with a decorative hole puncher. Paint the decorations and wait for it to dry. Remove the tape and it's done. Our leaves turned out even and beautiful. Coat the table with polish. Wow! <laughs> Put on a photo frame, a vase, and vials of favorite perfumes. Each girl has her own cozy territory on the table, despite the fact that it's common. Let's DIY a chair for it. Take a jar cap and a chapstick container. Heat a knife over a candle and cut a part off the chapstick container. The cap will be a seat. Trace the ring on fluffy fabric, leaving some extra around the edges. Apply dots of hot glue to the center of the cap and fold up the edges. Wrap the bottom of the stand with a satin ribbon. Add another strip to hide the joint. Glue the stand to the seat. handle the mess in the room. It's pretty easy when you have a box for toys. Trace a tea light mold on thick cardboard. Shape a cylinder from patterned paper and tightly fasten it to the base. Cover it with the metallic mold. This cap is good. Trace and cut out another circle. Don't forget to decorate the side with a strip of cardboard. Use a white cord to hide the joint and separate the cap from the box. Decorate the bottom with a cord too. Now we just need to add a handle. Yay, it's time to pick up the toys and put them into our new containers. Now our little princesses will have fun cleaning. Did you like our room for Elsa and Anna? Would you like to live in a room like this? Then hit the thumbs up and comment down below and you'll see a lot of amazing DIYs for dolls on our channel, Lalaloo.